let's talk about starting with the most basic of needlepoint stitches, a tent or a, bas a continental stitch. I've chosen a canvas here that is stitch painted. It's a 13 mesh, so it's nice and big. And I've taken my needle and I've chosen a wool thread to go with the background here. Once you've threaded your needle, tie a knot in the end of the yarn. And you'll want to go through the front of the canvas, leaving about an inch and a half. So you're coming down the painted size. This leaves a little knot on top. And then we're going to come over here to start the stitch. You will notice on the canvas that a canvas is made up of little intersections. What you are covering is the painted intersection and you will be moving from right to left covering the intersection in a diagonal stitch. The stitch is called tent or continental and you'll come up on the bottom left quadrant and then go down the top right. You will come up the bottom left and go down the top right. As we are doing this stitch, we are covering the tail of the stitch behind it, securing it to the canvas. With the tension you have, you want a nice even tension. So not pulling too hard and not too soft. Look for that Goldilocks feeling of just right. If you pull the stitch too tight, the thread will, will provide less coverage and look uneven and too loose, it could get caught or hang off the canvas in an unseemly manner. We're getting close to where that knot is. So what we're gonna do is cut that knot off. It's important to have a good pair of scissors with a nice sharp point to do this kind of work. You can see I'm snipping off the top of the knot and on the back the thread has been secured by the stitches going over it. Basically needlepoint is kind of like stitch by, I mean paint by numbers but with stitching. You are matching the thread to the paint on the canvas. We've reached the end now, and what we're going to do is finish that stitch there. And the solution is as easy as you would think to get back. You just turn the canvas 180 and we go back. Now here you'll see we will be going through a hole that already has a thread through it. So when you're coming through, make sure that you're not splitting the thread. So try to just get it. That's why you want that nice tension as well. So you're coming up through here. And again, top right. So bottom left, top right, and you're going to work your way across. Now needlepoint, it's here for your fun and for your pleasure. So if you have, if you make a mistake, it's absolutely fine. Everyone makes mistakes, even the most experienced stitches. For example, if you accidentally skipped over a thread uh, intersection and went over here and then went through there. What I would do in that situation, you go, oh gosh, I can't believe I did that. Pull out your needle, gently use the needle to tease out the thread, tease it out of the back, thread your needle again, and you're off to the races. There isn't a needle pointer alive who hasn't made a mistake on a canvas. Sometimes you just let it go and other times you keep going. Sometimes you will also find when you finish your project that you've missed a stitch somewhere, you can absolutely go back in and just fix that stitch um, after. If your thread starts to get twisted, all you need to do is just drop it and it will unwind. It's a great activity to do when you're chatting to friends, watching TV, helps with uh, anxiety and relaxation. And at the end, you have a beautiful heirloom.
I have needlepoint pieces that have been in my family over a hundred years and some of them still look pretty, pretty new. I'm going to show you how we finish the thread now and then how we start a new one. So we're almost done here with the... My thread's starting to get a little shorter. You don't want to let it get too short. i can probably get a few more in here. Now I'm starting to feel like, okay, it's getting a little shorter, hard to get things in. So let's finish off this thread. You don't want to have knots on the back of your canvas. The knots will, um, when you finish your canvas, could get create an uneven texture. So you want to try to have the back of your canvas look as nice as the front. So once we've turned it over, you're going to take your needle and gently go through the stitches you've already made. Pull it through, and now the thread is nice and secure. So aim for about an inch. And then you cut it off, discard that, and I'll show you how we start a new thread. Only on the first one do you do the knot and then which you cut off. You can work a canvas any way you like. You can start with the small details, you can work between um, background and the sort of picture you can do different colors so here we are I need to get a thread ready so I want to make sure I'm going to be able to come up here because that's my next spot to start so I'll come along the back pull gently gently make sure on that first stitch you're super gentle because you don't want to pull it all the way out again and we just start going again Bottom right. Some people like having their canvas on a frame and if you have a larger canvas, you can certainly do that. Um, but it's really, it's really up to your own preference. I like to hold my canvases so I can roll them up and put them in a bag to go easily. So I like to have them handheld like this. But if that's uncomfortable, uh, you can certainly put it on a wooden frame which creates a really taut canvas. So this is your most basic stitch. When you come down towards the images here, you'll just start working along one side. You won't be skipping over these large areas. You can skip over a stitch or two, that's fine, but you don't want to be skipping over something like this and leaving thread there. So you'll just come down the side here and you can start working in your white there. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out at ozneedleandthread at gmail.com.